Welcome back. Well, let's take a look at today's trending stories. It's time for Hot, Hot topics. topics. Yes, it is. Hey, Valentine's Day is less than one month away. Yeah. And if you're struggling for ideas, well, here is a creative one. Every year, the Loveland, Colorado Post Office receives mail from around the world to get postmark from the nation's, quote, sweetheart city. Yes. All you have to do is put your address and stamped Valentine's card inside a larger first-class envelope and send it to the postmaster in Loveland, Attention Valentine's. A group of volunteers will open that envelope and specially design stamp and love poem and then send the card uh, to its intended recipient. Your letter does need to arrive by February. 7th. I love this. A very unique way. Um, you know, maybe it's you're trying to figure out what to get that someone who yeah. has everything. This is such a cute and unique way to say Happy Valentine's Day. I love that. I even I never heard of this city, so Lo I know. All about I love it. it. So excited. Yes, and look at these volunteers. They're How cute is that? Uh, they are. Yes. <laughs> all right, well, Elvis, Elvis Presley's Graceland now offering tours for fans around the world, Ooh. including those who can't travel to the Tennessee tourist attraction during the pandemic. Now, Graceland said the two-hour guided tours will take virtual visits into Presley's former Memphis home, which has been turned into a museum and through the meditation garden where he is buried. Also included in the $100 ticket is a tour of Presley's jet and a walkthrough of the entertainment complex, which houses exhibits and artifacts related to the king. Oh, <laughs> Graceland was closed, of course, for several weeks last year, now reopened, but with limited capacity for in-person tours. So. If you're interested, those virtual tours are scheduled for January 27th, February 25th, and March 25th with more dates to be ex uh, announced. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs> hunka, 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 burning tour. Hunka, hunka, burning tour, that's it. Hey, speaking of museums, there is now another style of music to celebrate and appreciate in Music City, uh -huh. USA. The National Museum of African American Music in Nashville is now a reality. The galleries will take visitors on a journey beginning with a video entitled Roots, discussing the history. Another gallery, uh, Wade in the Water, focuses on gospel and spirituals, and Crossroads focuses on the blues. There are more than 1,500 artifacts, including clothing and instruments. The National Museum of African American Music will open to the public on January 30th at 50% capacity. I love it. I mean, the it's blues. another reason to go I'm all in. to Nashville. I love that story. I love that city, too. Yeah, great one. Well, a unique ceremony of love took place in Japan. Take a look. I love this. Um, what you're looking at, this is called a husband tossing ritual. Okay. The bond between husband and wife. Now, residents carry a married man to the top of the hill and then toss him over, you which go. you'll see here in a minute. There we go. <laughs> That's a nice hefty throw. Wow. He rolls down the hill to where his wife is waiting. Spectators limited this year due to the coronavirus restrictions. Participants also smear charcoal on their faces in hopes of having good health in the future. Our producer um, Taylor is yes. cracking up in the booth right now about this story. <laughs> that was a healthy toss that they, they did. They threw that man down that hill. I say that we could do that. Jill, <laughs> come on the show. We'll do a Jason toss, and then we could team up together and toss yes. Raymond. Toss Raymond down the hill. Hey, that doesn't sound like a bad idea. It looks kind of fun. Yeah, I think so. uh, all right, here's our last story here. Singer Billie Eilish is getting everything she wanted, including a book deal. Oh, nice. The 19-year-old Grammy winner is releasing a collection of hundreds of rarely seen photos, and the book is called Billie Eilish, and according to the publisher, will capture the essence of Billie inside and out, uh, offering readers personal glimpses into her childhood, her life on tour, and more. The book, which is set to be released in May, will have text, but is predominantly photos. Nice.